If you'd like to see how I embellish these fabulous Crocs, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube, so today in this video I'm going to be adding some rhinestone and pearl embellishments to these women's size four or five, I believe, Crocs. Um, the request was for silver, pink, and maybe a little bit of white. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. I have this little cheap nail drill that I bought um, over the shutdown when I thought I was gonna be able to do my own nails. It didn't work out that well, but this really comes in handy when it comes to sanding off this little uh, the sheen that's on the Crocs. You definitely want your Crocs to be sanded well and dry before you add your glue. Today I'm going to be using E6000 glue. I'll be using this glue. wax pickup tool to pick up my rhinestones and my pearls. Um, and then I'll show you the rhinestones and pearls I'll use a little bit later in the video. And I think that's it. And if you don't have a drill, don't worry about that. Just use some sandpaper from the Dollar Tree or from your local um, hardware store. Or if you have like a nail file, like a hand file, I've used one of those before as well. So you definitely want to at least use something to get this um, first like little coat off. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Once you're finished what standing you is some alcohol. I just use this little Dollar Tree. Um, okay, so I just really wanted you all to see the difference between how these looked before and after they are sanded down and I'm just going ahead with the alcohol and just wiping them off really good to get all the dust off. Here are the charms that I'm going to be adding to the shoe. I always add my charms in first and I get as many of those holes covered up as possible. And here is the diamond um, it's called Diamond Ribbon Strip. You can purchase this from Amazon. It is so sparkly and so pretty. Some people like to use the, um, I guess that uh, ribbon strip, rhinestone strip. It's something that's not very sparkly that I don't like that a lot of people when they start crafting use it and I can't stand it. I really prefer this stuff. And I might sound a little windy. I have been down for about two weeks with COVID. Um, and it kind of takes your breath away. And it make it kind of hard to catch your breath. So I might sound a little winded. So um, I just want to say if I sound windy or tired or out of breath, that's why COVID is no joke. So um, be careful with that, you guys. So I'm just adding the rhinestones and making my charm on the shoe right here. I didn't have time to do it prior to, so I just did it while it was on the shoe. So that's just what I'm doing here, just kind of filling everything in. And if these crops look familiar to you, I'm going to tell you why. So the aunt of one of my customers that lives in um, Chicago, I believe, she saw her niece's Crocs and she told her mom, hey, I want them exactly like hers. So that's why I kind of went off the same vibe as that shoe. I switched up a couple things, but when I found out how much she liked her niece's shoe, I just kind of did like a replica of the same thing. These are the charms that I'm going to be adding to the second shoe. And again, I'm going to make the pink on the shoe because I didn't have it ready beforehand. So I'm going to go ahead and add the charms in the shoe. Okay, so I, um, I did the pink again. I made my own charms with the pink. I have a video showing how to do that if you haven't saw it already. And I'm just pretty much filling everything in. Um, I mean, the difference of the charms, I think I have a few more spikier charms on this one, and then I didn't have that white Prada charm before. But, you know, sometimes you'll have customers make requests of something you've already done, or they'll see a, a prior shoe you've done, like, oh, I want it just like that. Or some people don't mind you doing a whole little freestyle thing. But, um, you know, either or is fine with me, but I do like to do something that I've done, uh, that I haven't done something completely different. Different colors, um, different themes, it, it's cool. 
I've just gotten so backed up with my editing. I'm just gonna try my best to pump out um, the videos that I have thus far. Um, but like I said, this whole COVID thing just kind of knocked me off track. So if you have it, um, really take take it easy. Do everything in your power to where that you don't have to get it. But it's out there. It really is. And I don't like the feeling of not being able to um, feel like I have a full uh, lung of, of air. I just feel like sometimes it just feel like a deflated balloon just slowly losing the air. Then I have to just, you know, take my time and get my breath back. But even after you've had it for a couple weeks, sometimes some of those symptoms are just still lingering. So um, just take it easy out there. Wear your mask. Do what you need to do and just stay safe you guys because i usually put out way more videos and i felt pretty bad um another wonderful thing that happened is i did hit 10,000 subscribers um and i'm just very excited and thankful for that so i really want to say hello to my new subscribers um i definitely upload a lot more frequently than what you've seen these last two weeks this is not me i try to put out at least two to three to maybe four videos a week um or more so i'm i'm gonna be working on that so um what you see me doing now is i'm adding some rhinestones just a few to this um what is this part called strap you know some people add some to the strap some don't you just know so just make sure that you do kind of sand that area and alcohol that area as well um these are almost finished I really like the black Crocs. I like the white Crocs too. It's kind of hard to decide, but I, I really feel like the black Crocs, when you put everything on them, it just really pops. So to me, maybe the black are my favorite. And did y'all know they had um, Croc boots? I saw a pair and I was just like, oh no. Um, but then I saw another pair and I'm like, maybe. You know, just to, you know, for the sake of the content and just to kind of see if it's like really comfortable, I don't know. Because I know the, the Crocs that have the fur on the inside, the slides ones, those are very warm. So I'm kind of thinking about getting a pair. But I did see one that looked too, too terrible to me and I don't wanna just get something just to get it, you know. But I'm almost finished with these shoes, you guys. And they are really cute. But they do look a lot like another pair I did over the summer. Okay, so the name of the stuff that, I, that people use for their crafts, and sometimes they put it on shoes that I don't like, is called bling wrap. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about or not, but some people make candle holders and stuff, and they just put this stuff on there called bling wrap. It's not nearly as sparkly. So I just wanna make sure you know the difference. Bling ribbon and bling wrap are two different things. So get the sparkly cute one. So you just want to continue to take your time. You can do like clutter by clutter, area by area. Um, this little wax pickup tool really helps a lot to get in those smaller areas. And I'm almost finished and I want to say this took under two hours because like I said, this was a very small shoe. Um, this was only like a four and a half or a five in women's. And like on a size, I want to say about nine. It takes me about two and a half hours to do um, is it both shoes or just one shoe? I can't even remember. I'm sorry. It's been so long. But this didn't take me no more than about two hours. I think it probably take about that long. Maybe about an hour and a half for one shoe. But I'm almost done. Okay, you guys. Here is the final finished result of these ladies size 5 um, Crocs. And I think these are just so adorable. They they are so adorable because I myself, I happen to love pink. And I use quite a bit of pink and silver. Also use some white and some black. Um, again, if you fast forward it and you're wondering what type of glue I use, I use E6000 glue. Um, you wanna make sure you sand them off with some sandpaper or you can use like a small drill. 
you want to use alcohol to wipe all that dust and everything off those are pretty much the major um, points here and what else another important thing is to try to let their, your shoes cure for at least like 24 hours try to let them cure I do sell um, charms if you're interested on my website I'll have a link available myrollradiance.com I'm actually still having a sale that I started in November a lot of you took advantage of that so shout out to you if you buy any set of luxury charms you receive a set of bling charms like the water drop or maybe um, the smaller circles whatever I have available but it's mainly the water drop charms and I've been giving those a set of those away um, as a like a BOGO so buy the luxury charms if you desire to you will receive four a set of four um, blingy charms and then some of you have been forgetting to use my coupon code um, which is Royal Beauty 10 off for 10% off so thanks again you guys for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it share the video on Facebook um, hello to all my new subscribers hello to all of my subscribers um, and then if you are going to be a subscriber make sure that you do hit the notification bell so that you do receive the notification so you'll know when I do upload videos so thanks again you guys for watching I do have a whole playlist of videos um, dedicated to Crocs but I also embellish um, wine glasses um, shot glasses shirts different types of shoes Converse you know Vans whatever you can think of I've probably done it so be aware of those videos as well thanks again you guys for watching and I will continue to have the BOGO sale with the luxury charms as long as supplies last supplies are still lasting so I'll still have that sale going on for whoever is interested I also have the vendor um, my vendor my one wonderful vendor that I use for my luxury charms you guys have not been playing around with that as well um, there's a link available for that also and if you're interested in buying rhinestones in bulk I have a vendors list for that as well but I always urge people to do your own research always 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 do your own research thanks again for watching this video you guys bye bye be sure to check out our website myrollradiance.com where we sell lip gloss hand sanitizers shoe charms and much more Use my coupon code royalbeauty 10 off for a special discount for my subscribers. Be sure to check out our website, crtacticaldefense.com, where we sell in waistband gun holsters available in four different sizes. We also carry gun cleaning mats and much more. Use my special discount code VIBES, V-I-B-E-S, for my subscribers.